I'm here with Kenny Selman, a former UNC track and field athlete and a 2020 Olympic hopeful. And Kenny, I'm going to start from the beginning. Yeah. Back to your family. You grew up, your father was an athlete, your mother, your brother, college <laughs> basketball player. Yeah. How did that influence you growing up, not only as a runner, but just developing as an athlete? Yeah. Um, you know, when you're immersed in an athletic culture your entire life, it's easy to under, not easy, but it's, it, make, it helps understanding what it takes to you know, perform at a high level. My dad was an All-American um, wrestler at Nebraska, and my brother, he played, um, he played basketball at Bates College in Maine. So it was, you know, I kind of understood what it takes, and my dad never let us deviate from the, you know, the, the path of you know, success in athletics. So it was, it was a huge help to have that kind of expertise in the house. Yeah, and yeah. do you remember a time in your life when you realize you're running, doing hurdles, and you're like, I'm really good at this. <laughs> yeah. And this could really be something for me. Yeah, um, it's tough. I mean, so like, I, I mean, I've, so I've made a few USA teams, and my first one was a youth team. So, was, you know, like under, under 19, I think. And when I made that team, I was like, oh, okay. Like, like I can do this, you know? Because when you make the team, you have to yeah. be, you know, ranked in the nation. And I, didn't, I honestly didn't even know that I was ranked until my dad told me. I was like, you know, I, I was just running and, you know, you know, doing what I was doing. And he was like, Kenny, I think, you know, he was like, <laughs> he didn't run track, but he knew track. But he was like, yeah, I think you're pretty good at that. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, so when I made the first team, it was cool. And then, you know, the rest is history. Yeah. yeah. And then you went, you're from Atlanta, but you went mm -hmm. to UNC Chapel Hill. Tell me a little bit about that decision to go there and what that experience was like for you. Yeah. Um, so, I mean... Choosing UNC, I wanted to go to a school, with, you know, I obviously wanted to go to school, good academic school, great athletic school, and I wanted to have fun. So <laughs> there weren't too many places that I felt across the country that you could do that at. Right. Um, and especially at the level that I need to be at. So, you know, I really, I searched long and hard. I took a lot of, I took a few visits, and, but I knew, I knew when I visited Carolina, when I got on campus and, you know, the homie, everybody described the homie vibe, you know, there was no turning back. It was, yeah. I knew, I knew exactly when I got on campus that that was it. Right. Yeah. And at UNC, you broke a 22-year-old 400-meter hurdle record. How does someone at your age even <laughs> begin to wrap your head around that? Yeah, um, you know, it's tough. I think, I think, no, not it's tough, but I think that um, in track and field right now, our generation, my generation is definitely moving along. And, you know, I think track has been at a stale point in a lot of the events. And so now I think that, you know, whatever it is, whatever this new wave is, a lot of us new um, young athletes are pushing us, are put, like we're, we're, we're really coming and we're breaking records. Yeah. And it's kind of what's going on right now and it's an honor, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's, you know, I didn't, I expected it, but it's, when you do it, it's a lot, it's a crazy different feeling. Yeah. So, um, you know, I, I'm proud and I'm excited and I'm ready to, you know, break some more records. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you've, I'm sure you've had a bunch of just average races where you go out and you do well, hmm. but then you have some where you break a 22-year-old record. <laughs> yeah. Is there a difference, can you tell a difference going into it? Mm. When you're about to start, do you feel any different? You're like, I could, I'm doing good today. Yeah, this might be it. Yeah. Um, you know, I was, uh, I was telling someone uh, earlier today that like, you know, I was saying pressure is a privilege. Right. And I think when, when you are, you know, I think people take for granted pressure and pressure, you know, when you have the ability to either do something great or like completely, you know, set you back, I think that's a privilege. Everybody doesn't get to be in that situation to completely better themselves or, you know, hurt themselves. So when you're, when you're in that kind of situation, you have the choice to either, you know, amount to it or, you know, fall back. Right. And those have been the races where I've run the fastest. So going into the USA Nationals, going into the NCAA Nationals, going into the you know, World Cup Nationals, all those, you know it's like when you're, it's gonna be a fast race because everybody else is gonna run. Yeah. You have the choice to either you know, go fast or you know, just be comfortable within your race. So the level of competition can dictate how, you know, how fast I think I'm gonna go. Yeah. But um, you know, other than waking up just ready to run and feeling like, you know, your body feels good. Yeah. I think it just depends on the competition. Right. Yeah. And shortly after your record-breaking performance, mm -hmm. um, the USA Track and Field Outdoor Championship started, mm -hmm. but you weren't there. Oh, you yeah. were right here in Atlanta <laughs> starting your internship. So can you tell me a little bit about that choice you made? Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, it, it, so um, at UNC, I was in the uh, Kenan Flagler Business School mm -hmm. and 
they are very, very um, internship oriented. And it's like, can you, like, you know, everybody who's in there wants an internship. You know, you gotta better your corporate portfolio, all that kind of stuff. So <laughs> I knew that I wanted to do that. And I consider myself a very well-rounded person and I wanted to make sure I stay well-rounded. And so I knew that I would have the opportunity to come back this year and run at USA's. And so last year, I got the internship at Coca Cola, and, I, and it was not an easy internship to get. I mean, I had to interview. You know, it was a, it was a very, you know, it was a long process. Right. Um, so when I was faced with the decision to either run at USA's or, you know, go to my internship, to me it was easy. You know, it was it was like I have to do like this is, I'm gonna have you know going pro. I'm gonna have a lot more track in my near future. Mm -hmm. Right now, I need to make sure I tap back into my corporate lifestyle and you know make sure I have that there for me. So, right. for me, it was easy. Explaining to coach, it was different. <laughs> coach didn't really like it, but I um, bet. but you know I knew what I needed to do, and it was, and I'm proud that I did it. Right. Yeah. And I know you had a great experience at UNC, as you said, but how would you compare it to your roots back here in, in Atlanta? Oh man, um, a lot similar and a lot different. Um, <laughs> I think that. There's a, a lot of people um, from my high school, or not from my high school, but from the area, go to UNC. Yes. And I think you know it's uh, it's kind of was kind of in my face as well when I was back in here at Pace Academy. In that you know everybody loves UNC. My best friend, he is a big UNC fan. Everybody you know UNC was it. And so the culture is honestly very similar at UNC or like from Pace Academy to UNC. It's all very similar, but you know I don't. I don't know. It, there's a lot. There's a lot at UNC. Yeah. There's a lot here. It's kind of <laughs> same, different. It all goes together. Well, when you would come back and visit during school, right. was there one place you wanted to go or something you had to do before you went back? Ooh, here in Atlanta? Yes. Oh, so, uh, Willie's. <laughs> Willie's um, Mexican Grill. <laughs> Shout okay. out to Willie's. Um, <laughs> there's no Willie's anywhere else or like really? definitely not in North Carolina. No. Yeah. And, and we like tell all our friends, we're like, look, you need to go to Willie's. They're like, oh no, Chipotle is good, or like Moe's is good. We're like, no, you don't, you, <laughs> but don't, it even, doesn't compare. you don't even understand <laughs> how good Willie's is. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's one thing that we always have to do when we come back. Right. But, yeah. And so you recent, recently turned pro and you're ranked number one in the US. You just went and won gold in London. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think that you would be here? <sighs> um, you know, I don't. That's a tough question too. I don't, you know, I'm, so I know, I know what it takes to, or I'm beginning to understand what it takes to be at that level. Right. Um, but th there's no secrets, you know, like you, you have to win and you have to, like when you want to get to a certain level, you have to win, you have to win this race, you got to run that race. And so I knew the path. And so now that I'm on the path, it's crazy to think about, but it's like, this is what you're supposed to do. You know, you, you got to, you know, you can't go out here and just, you know, be getting second or, you know, doing all that. You have to win. And that's, and that's a tough thing to wrap my head around. And, I, and I'm not winning every single race, so don't, don't get that wrong. But, like, <laughs> I definitely know that the big races, I have to, you know, make sure I show up and, and do big things. So it's, it's, it's crazy to be here, but, you know, there's no secret. You got you to gotta do this. Right. And I saw one time you wrote that sometimes you never realize the meaning of a moment until it's in memory. Mm -hmm. Can you explain how that's been real for you? <clears throat> yeah. Um, I would say that goes for just about like everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, I just got back from, I just got back from Europe. I finished my, I graduated from college. I, you know, had USA championships. I won that. And they just shipped me off to Europe. <laughs> and, <laughs> And it's crazy. I mean, I was out there. I ran in. I ran in Switzerland twice, London once, just a ton of traveling, and you know, crazy races. You know, now you're professional, so you're getting prize money. You're getting all this type of stuff. Everything is just kind of right. in your face, and it's, and it's hitting you fast. And now that I'm back here, I'm just like, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> like I just did all that, and I can't even think twice about it. You know, until it's yeah. a memory. So I think it goes for everything. Yeah. Yeah. And training for the Olympics. What yeah. does that look like? <sighs> A lot of running, um, <laughs> a lot of running, and a lot of um, a lot of diligence, a lot of you know focus, everything you know, and that's you know the Olympics are so it's two years away, but it's not far away at all. You know, I have to I have to make sure that I, I remain at the same caliber, the same type of you know strength, the same type of endurance, everything that I've had that I've maintained through college, right. and I think it's gonna be different. You know, in professional career. 
it's not going to be the same as college because, you know, you don't have many races. Everything is not, you know, as, as easy as it was in college. So right. the training has to be that much harder and you have to simulate that much more. So it's going to be different. It's going to be a lot. Um, but I consider myself someone who can stay focused. So yeah. we'll see. You got any fitness tips for me? Oh, man, <laughs> look, <laughs> just get up early and get it out the way. That's it. <laughs> And going to the Olympics, was mm -hmm. this the ultimate dream or is it something else? Ooh, um, that's a, wow, I've never asked that question. Um, <laughs> yes, yes and no. I mean, I never knew how, you know, I don't think you ever know how good you can be until, you're, until you are who you are. Okay. <clears throat> and so, obviously you dream about the Olympics and like, oh yeah, I wanna, you know, 2020, like, you know, hashtag Tokyo or whatever, but like, <laughs> I don't think you know until you know. And so, and I'm, and I'm not there, right. but you know, now that I'm on this path, it's like, okay, I can, I can do this. I understand that, like, you know, I understand what it takes. I've seen, I've had a taste of it. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, look, this is what I want. And if I, and I gotta go get it, yeah. so. And lastly, what would you do if I challenged you to a race? Oh man, <laughs> look, not right now. <laughs> I'm in the off season. I'm I'm not doing any training. We can race back when I get in, you know, top shape. All right, <laughs> I might have to do a little yeah. training as well. Well, thank you, Kenny, yeah. and hopefully we'll see you in the 2020 Olympics. Yeah, thanks for having me.